Hello everybody, it's Juanita back with Crafty Stitch Way. So today we'll be making a little diaper set that consists of the hat, diaper cover, and the little booties. And we're going to be doing it in the little pig outfit. So what I'm going to show you first are all the supplies you will need. You are going to need a three millimeter hook. We're going to do the three month size. So you'll need a three millimeter hook and a 4.5 millimeter hook. My three is up here. Let me get it out. I should have been more prepared and ready. There we go. My three and my 4.5. Is that a three? Nope, that one's a three. There we go. You will need just a sparingly, like maybe that much white, just a tiny, tiny bit of white. It's basically for the eyes. You will need a tiny bit of black for the eyes and for the snout. And your main color we're going to use, um, I'm going to use just a baby pink. You can use whatever shades of pink you want. For the accent in the ears, I'm going to use a darker pink. And then we're going to use, usually I do pipsqueak, but I can't get that no more here in Canada at my Michaels. So I got this yarn here that... I'm not sure where I got it, but it's similar to Pipsqueak. So we're going to use that. So what we're going to start off with right now is we are going to start with the hat. And again, we're doing this. And you will need two buttons. I'm sorry. Two buttons for the diaper cover, the front of the diaper cover. Of course, scissors, tapestry, needle for to sew in your ends. And that is about it. So we will get started. And this is a lighter pink than what I actually have done it in before, but I'm going to do it in a soft pink, as I said. Just unraveling some of my yarn. Because I think it's all caught up. Oh, there we go. I thought it came out from the end, but... It is not, so let me just get this ready here. Okay, so what we're going to do with your 4.5 and your main color pink is we are going to do a magic circle. Bring that closer to me. And we are going to chain two. We are going to do 12 double crochets inside of that circle. One, we're not counting that chain two stitch. Three, oh my. Four and five. And I apologize, I live right on a main throughway where the ambulances, fire trucks, police cars, all of that come through. So it's generally quite noisy and I just can't close my window because there's a nice little breeze right now and it's just too dang hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I gotta pull that some. Ten, eleven, Sorry, my yarn's all caught up. And my, 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 12. So we're going to pull the back there and we are going to join into the top of the chain two. We are going to chain two again and for this row we are going to do two stitches in each stitch around. It's going to give you a count of 24 and you're going to go in that very first stitch. Whoops. So two double crochet here. Two double crochet in the next and so forth. So continue doing two double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you on your very last stitch. Okay, so that was row two. For row three, first we're gonna slip stitch again into the top of there. We're gonna chain two and we're gonna put one double crochet 
in each of the next two stitches. We are then going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. So one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and one double crochet in the next stitch. So one more time, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and two in the next. And that's going to give us a count of 32 stitches. And once you get, keep going around, one in, one in the next two and then two. It's going to happen the whole time. And you're going to do that all the way around. And I will meet you in your last stitch. Okay, so we are going to join to the top of this chain two. We are going to chain two. And we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next three. One, two, three, and two in the next. We're going to do one in each of the next three. and two in the next. And you're gonna continue that all the way around again. One in the next three stitches and two in the next one. And you'll do that all the way to the end. And that's gonna give you a count of 40 stitches. Once you get to your last stitch, I'll see you there. Okay, so once you've finished row four, that would have given you a count, like I said, of 40 stitches. Now you're gonna chain two. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one double crochet in each stitch around. Move those out of the way. And that is your 40 stitches at your, oops, put that in the same one. So you're just gonna continue doing one stitch in each, one double crochet in each stitch. This is row five, and you're gonna do from row five to nine, one double crochet in each stitch around. You're gonna join slip stitch into the top of your chain two, each row and do it for those, I believe five rows, five to nine. Yeah, five rows. So once you've finished your ninth row on your last stitch, I will meet you right back here. All right, so we've come to the end of our ninth row. Oops. And what we're going to do now is we're going to bring our pink fur yarn And we are going to join that and we're going to cut off that pink yarn. I'm going to get that out of the way completely. I'm going to bring this up a bit. It's too low. There we go. And as if you're used to my videos with all my fur yarns or anything like that, I always go the opposite direction because the fur shows up better the other way. So all we're gonna do for this row is we are gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. So that's all you're gonna do. Just one single crochet in each stitch around. Whoops, whoops. I'm sitting on an angle for the camera so it's Sometimes kind of hard to uh, to get my hook in properly because I'm not sitting properly. But anyway, so continue this, and when you get to your last stitch, I will meet you there. So all we're going to do here is we're going to slip stitch, fasten off, and we are going to sew in those ends. Whoops. I'll use the yarn one first. Just, my little cat was up here. Sew those in. There's a pink one down there somewhere. Okay. 
And I'm going to use a thicker needle for the fur one. And there we are. So that's what we have so far is the little beanie part of it. So what we're going to do next is we are going to do the ears. So you're going to do two. You're going to do 4.5 for both. We're going to take the pink back. Move that one. I'm going to move the little beanie out of the way for the time being. And what we're going to do is we are going to chain... Do a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each stitch across. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to do a chain one and we're going to turn. We're going to chain one and we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch again. Six stitches. And we are going to chain one and we are going to turn. Oop, let me get a bit of yarn off my ball here. Okay, so row three, we are going to half double crochet two together. We're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches and half double crochet those last two together. We're going to chain one and turn. We are going to half double crochet in each of those four stitches. Three and four. We're going to chain one and we're going to two and we're going to half double crochet two, time, two together two times, twice. Whoops. There we are. Now we are going to chain one and turn, and we are going to half double crochet one more time. We are going to chain one and turn. We're going to fasten off. Now the inner ear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do these in now. I'm going to sew the ends in now. You don't have to go through it twice because this is on the back of it. So There we go. Now for the inner part of the ear, we're going to do it with the dark purple and we're going to use the size three millimeter hook because we want this quite a bit smaller to go inside of the ear. So for the with the three millimeter hook we are going to chain six. Whoops. Slip stitch, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to half double crochet, or we're going to half double crochet and second chain from the hook and across, and it will give us a count of five. Chain one and turn. We are going to half double crochet in each stitch, one more row, giving us five stitches. There we go. We're going to turn row four. We're going to half double crochet two together. We're going to half double crochet one. Whoops. We're going to half double crochet one, or two stitches together, one time. And then we're going to half double crochet in that last stitch, chain one. 
We're going to half double crochet in all three stitches. So one, two, and three, chain one and turn. And we are going to half double crochet all three together and chain one. Now on this one, I would, whoops, whoops, fasten off and you're going to sew in the ends. And I'm just gonna show you how to sew this together. And you're gonna repeat this for the second one. So off the ends, okay, and we're going to take a strand of the light pink, we're going to weave it through here. Now just remember when you're doing this, you're going to put the wrong end facing you of your light pink and the proper the right side of the light pink one. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to go underneath the dark pink so it doesn't show. And you're just going to kind of sew it in. See how I'm just going underneath. Make sure you line it up properly. So I'm going underneath the dark pink. It's not showing. You can do it in smaller stitches. I'm kind of just going a little bit quick here, but or making my stitches longer. And just go underneath the pink so you don't see your light pink on the outside, on your dark pink there. Tuck that in. And then I'm just going to weave this across to that end and I'm going to leave that to sew that on. I'm going to pull it a bit so it comes in just a little bit. And that's one ear. And you're going to do the second ear the exact same way you did that ear, and we will sew them on. Okay, I said we would sew that on, but actually what we're going to do is we're going to make all the pieces and then sew everything on. We're going to put them all into place, tap them into place, and then sew them on. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do the eyes. The eyes are black with white in them. So take your black. and your three millimeter hook. And we are going to do a magic circle and we are gonna do 10 double crochets in the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We are going to close that tightly. We're going to slip stitch up on top of that first chain and we're going to leave a tail to sew that eye on. Again, we're going to do the same for the second one. It's just a magic circle, 10 double crochets inside that circle. Now with the white, you're just going to take a little piece of white. I can't find an end, so I'm just going to cut it like that and I'll use it for both. We're just going to make like a little I guess we could consider it a pupil. So we're just going to weave it in the back. 
Make sure that you didn't go through too far so you can't see through the black in the front. I'm just going to do it one more time. Make sure it's in there, it doesn't come out. And you're going to come up through the center of your eye. And then you're just going to go right before the edge, you're just going to go right into one of them. So it sort of looks like that. And again, we're just going to weave that in. We're going to sew that, cut that off. So again, make your other eye the same as that one. So we get two ears, two eyes. Now we are going to do the snout. Now, the snout is with the pink fur yarn. So the snout is a magic circle, or you can do a chain too. Completely up to you. There we go. We're gonna chain two, and we're gonna do six double crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. We're going to pull that tight. Okay, so we're going to join to that first stitch. Sorry, my phone went dead while I was doing that last one. I didn't even know that it was close to dying there. So we did six double crochets, and we joined with a slip stitch. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to do two half double crochets in each, or two half double crochets, sorry, in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch again, and then just turn that inside out. Whoops. There we go. And now we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch. Two, three, four, five. Just one second here. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And again, we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. And this time, we're going to leave a little bit of a tail to sew that on. Now, I forgot to mention, I didn't say it in the beginning. You can use either a bit of stuffing. I'm just going to take my ends that I've already got from already using here, and I'm just going to stuff it. But first, before I do that, I'm going to take a little piece of black yarn, tapestry needle, and just kind of weave that in in the back so you can't see it. Turn that back this way. And we're just going to make two little lines for like snout lines alongside of each other. So just maybe right there. I'll do another one right here. Is that about even? That looks about right. There we go. 
So they're just two little snout, two little uh, lines for on his snout, or her snout, sorry. Just weave that in the back. Just make sure you can't see it in the front, which you can't, which is cool. I'm just gonna cut it off there. Cause I'm gonna take this yarn and I'm just gonna, actually won't even need all that. Just whatever ends you have, just use that. You don't even need to use stuffing. And we have the snout. So now that we have all our pieces, I'm gonna get the yarn out of the way. So we have the two ears. And I would do them between the second and the third. So we're just gonna pin them in place. Make sure that the back of your, actually this is the front. This is the back. Make sure that your front, the back of your hat is in the back. So for the hats, we're gonna do them on the second and the third. So we're just gonna pin that in. You're just gonna pin them along the bottom. Just gonna pin that there and Pin that one into place there. Then for the other side, the second and the third. I'm gonna pin that in here. Sorry if my camera keeps, I keep going out of view because I keep moving my camera by mistake. And then the second one. Oh, right in there. Now, for the eyes, uh, let me just see. Because I knew I forgot something. For the eyes, we're going to do a, you don't have to do this part if you don't wish to. Um, you can just leave the eyes black like that. But for the eyes, I did leave, um, Where am I at here? The white. Okay, so I forget that we're gonna sew the black onto the white. You don't have to, you can just do the black that way. Do two. So we're going to do 12 double crochets in this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fold tightly. It's just to come out a tiny smidgen on the black. You see? So we'll leave a tail for that to sew that onto the face. We'll do one more. So again, it's just a magic circle. And we're gonna do 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we're going to join up into the first one, slip stitch, and leave a tail to sew the eye around. So let's just... Sew the ends in here. You only have to do it once because we're sewing it right onto the hat. And that needle's kind of big. I don't like it. There you go. So take your black. 
I'm going to put it that way so it's not in the same spot as the other end. And just go around. So we're basically just sewing it right into the white. Like I said, the white's just supposed to be seen a little bit outside of the black. Every time I see like do one of my patterns here, I forget something until looking at it. I'm thinking it doesn't look right, but I honestly haven't done some of these for a long time and I haven't had my Etsy shop for quite a while now so a lot of the things that I make are custom orders there we go I'm gonna do the same for this one go okay so now we are going to place the eyes so we want them where the eye is pointing down so that in spot one right here Oops. one right here we will put a couple little eyelashes on but we'll wait until we have everything sewn in and then the snout we will do right there we're going to put two pins in there on each side to hold that in place so what we'll start with is the snout We'll just go in and come up. Oh, I used the small needle, didn't I? Oops. Is there a pen in there? Yeah, stick pen. So again, just go into the light pink and come up in this one. And I'm going to grab the big needle because it's too hard using that. So just go into the light pink or your main part of the hat and come up. If you want to stuff it more, by all means, stuff it more. I'm not going to bother. And there is the snout. Now we're going to do the eyes. And it's the same thing for the eyes. You're just going to go into the white, come up around them. Oh, here come the fire trucks. Don't pull too tight when you're doing it because you don't want the eye to indent. So just just base it easy or gently when you're going around. We're just going to cut that end off. So go ahead and sew your other eye and just sew both of your ears into place right here and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so once you have everything sewn on, there is your little hat. I mean... Look, 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 the little snout sticks out. So you want that sticking out a bit. But how cute is that? So what we're going to do, though, we are going to do a couple of eyelashes. We're just basically going to sew on a few lines. 
You don't have to do them if you don't want to. It doesn't have to be perfect. So what we're gonna do on the corner here is we're gonna go into the black just to, to get our yarn in there. Whoops, that didn't work out too well, did it? Okay, now we're gonna go in. Whoops. Or actually, we'll just do it this way right here. We're just gonna go up a bit, come back down into the black at the edge of it, and don't pull tightly. Just, just so it's a little, and then we're gonna go halfway for the next one, right beside it. So it's just kind of like a little eyelash. And you're just gonna go through the black. Don't pull tight because it'll pull tight the eyelash, just kind of then it's snug in there. And then we're just gonna do the same for that. Oh, I'm gonna cut off the top because you can see where I, there we go. Now we are going to do the same for the other side. So you're going to to go back over this way. So I'm going to go out further for this one. Whoops. Shoot. There we go. I'm going to loosen that up a bit because you don't want it to be snug at all. And we're going to go halfway. And there's that eyelash. And then we're just going to end off in there. And there we are. So that is the hat part of the outfit, the little pig hat. Super cute. When I originally did it, this was in like a, mm, like a, a, not a baby pink, but like a, a rustic pink, I guess you would say. And that was still the dark pink. And this was probably pretty close to that color. But you can do them whatever color you want. So that's the hat. So what we are going to do next is we are going to start with the booties. I got to find the right page for the booties. Just give me a second. Hopefully the pattern is correct. And make no mistakes. I've been going back on my patterns and the ones where there's been a mistake in them, it's kind of good because I've just been correcting them. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll start the diaper cover instead. Uh, here we are. So the diaper cover is going to be with the 4.5. And what we are going to do is we are going to chain 49. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, Oh, I should have took, found the yarn in the center, but couldn't find no such luck. 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 39, 40, 40, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So next what we're going to do is we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and we are gonna single crochet in each stitch across. It's gonna give you a count of 48 single crochets and that is row one. So once you get to the last stitch, I will meet you right back here. Okay, so that was row one. For row two, we're going to chain two. And for this row, we're gonna double crochet in each stitch across. 
And again, that will give you 48 stitches. So once again, I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, so we've come to the end of the row. That's row two, 48 stitches. That was double crochets. We're gonna chain one. And for this row, we're gonna single crochet across back again. This is the band of the diaper cover. It goes from the back and comes into the front of it. So it may look long, it's supposed to. So continue single crocheting across this and I'll see you back here at the end of this row. Okay, so now you've finished those three rows, a single crochet row, double crochet row, and a single crochet row. So chain one and turn. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch in the first stitch and we're gonna slip stitch in the next 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There was some other yarn wrapped around my pink there and I tried to get it off for the most part, but. So we've slip stitched 10, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna half double crochet in that same stitch and in the next 28 stitches, one. Or in the next 27, I'm sorry. We're gonna have 28, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm just trying to go a little bit faster just to instead of stopping and starting the video. Now I gotta do my yarn again. I can't believe I couldn't get this from the center pole. Very annoying. Did I say 20? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that should be 28. So we're going to chain one and we are going to turn. We are going to half double crochet. For the next three rows, we are going to half double crochet in each stitch across. So 28 stitches, three rows. And I'll see you back at the end of, it would be row la la la, seven. Because it was one, two, three, that was four. This is five, six, and seven. And I'll see you at the end of that. Okay, so we have row, those three rows done. The last row we did would have been row seven. For row eight, we are going to chain one and half double crochet two together. We're gonna half double crochet across. I gotta get some yarn. This is annoying. Come on. We're going to half double crochet across to the last two stitches. And the last two stitches, we are gonna half double crochet together. We are gonna chain one and we're gonna turn. That would leave 26 stitches. So now we are gonna do one half double crochet in those 26 stitches. And I'll meet you here at the end of this row. So that would have been row nine, which is just straight half double crochet across to give you 26 stitches. The next row, we are gonna half double crochet two together in the first two. We are gonna half double crochet across to the last two stitches. And once you get to them, you are gonna have 24. That is gonna be row 10. You're gonna continue doing that, half double crochet in the first two stitches together, 
half double crocheting across and then half double crocheting together the last two. So the first two and the last two, you're going to half double crochet together and you're going to do that right up to row 16. It will give you 12 stitches. So once you get to that row 16 and you have 12 stitches on your hook, I will meet you back here. Okay, so that was row 16. For row 17, you're just going to half double crochet across those 12 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Chain one. So this is the diaper cover. Now we're just going to make the end here that comes up that's going to end up closing. We're on the wrong side, but. So that was row 17, so you're going to do 10 more rows, row 18 to 28. You're just going to half double crochet in each one of those, those stitches, turn, and when you reach the end of row 28, come on back and we'll put the finishing touches on the diaper cover. Okay, so once we've reached that spot where we finished the last stitch on there, we are going to join our fur yarn. Chain one. And like I say on all my projects when I'm using this type of yarn, I always go the opposite direction. So all you're going to do is crochet around the complete diaper cover. On any corners, you're going to put two stitches in the corners. You're going to go all the way back and join to the very first stitch that we started with this. And once you have that done, I will meet you back here. Okay, so we have all the fur yarn on it. So we did it on the wrong side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that in this way. So next what we're going to do is we are gonna sew the two buttons on. You can use whatever buttons. You might have pretty little pink ones or what have you. I'm gonna sew them each right there. And all I did was take a piece of my yarn and split it so I have two strands because it's too thick to sew in the other way. I'm just gonna go in the back. Sew that in. This one's even cracked a little bit, but. I bought a new microphone, but for whatever reason, I can't get it hooked up to my phone properly. So I'd have to send that one back and get another one because it just doesn't seem to work properly at all. I've seen everybody talking about a little lavalier one, so I might get that. So then we're just going to... Sew that on. We're going to sew our ends in in the back. And you can put this, the great thing about it is it goes right through that double crochet stitch that we did. You could put them far apart on the baby, closer. I mean, some babies have a little bit more of a tummy than others. And there's your little diaper cover. I mean, it's so cute. So now we're going to make the little tail for the back. So we're going to take our pink again. Just undo this here. And we are going to do a chain of... Uh, actually, we're going to do the fur yarn, not that. I'm sorry. I knew it looked a little different. We're going to take our fur yarn, and we're going to do a slip stitch. And we're going to do a count of 24 chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And all you're going to do for the tail, because we wanted to make that little swirl look, is we're just going to place three half double crochets in each stitch. That's it. And it's going to make that little tail curl right up. So three half double crochets. And just keep going until you get to the end of here with three half double crochets. When you fasten off, just be sure to leave a little tail to sew your tail into place. I'll see you back here when you finish that. Okay, so here's my little tail all done. You can make it shorter or smaller if you want. I like it quite long. It looks super cute. And we're just going to... And we're just going to basically sew it right into place. Just put a few stitches. And weave that back in. Now, obviously, this little outfit is for pictures. So, I would probably not lay the... I mean, it's soft enough. It's not going to hurt the baby. And the baby has a diaper on anyway, so the baby's not even going to feel that even if you do lay them back. But that's the little, that's the little uh, diaper cover with the little curly tail. So we've got the hat done, the diaper cover, last but not least are our little booties. I already took the liberty of making the first one. So let's go ahead and do the second one. So you're going to use your 4.5 hook. And we are going to do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do three in the last stitch. One, two, Three. Just put that on the side and you can crochet it in up. Now, for the next stitch, it's not going to be that one. It's going to be the one over. You're going to work on the opposite side. And we're going to single crochet in the next five. So that's two, three, four, five. And then it's going to be two in that last stitch. And we're going to single crochet in the top of that first stitch. I'm going to cut that little back off now. There we go. Get that right out of the way. I'll bring this down a bit more. You can see better. Okay, so for row two, and that gives you 16 stitches. For row two, we're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. We're going to single crochet in four, two, three, Four, and now we're going to put two half double crochets in the next five stitches. Two, three, four, five. Now we will put one single crochet in the next four single or four stitches, two, three, four. And instead of saying six, I don't know why, but we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. And we're going to join with a stitch, slip stitch. So that was row two, and that will give you a count of 22 stitches. Row three is chain one, single crochet in the next nine, two, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a half double crochet and a single crochet all in the same stitch. And we're going to do that for six stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. 
And now we're going to single crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch. And for row that was row three, you will have a count of 28 stitches. Now this row here, we're going to chain one. All we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So it's 28 stitches you should have, and you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So you go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so we did that row. Row five is basically just one single crochet through both loops all the way around. So I'm just going to go fast just to get around this instead of pausing again. hard crocheting this way because I'm sitting on top like so I can make sure I get the camera angle. Coco Melon, you can't come up here, Mama. You can't come up here, Mama. Okay, so that was row five and that was one single crochet in each stitch around. So for row six, we're going to start decreasing so what you're going to do is we're going to single crochet in eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you are going to single crochet two together six times. One, two, three. four, five, and six. And now we are going to single crochet in the last eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and join with a, join with a slip stitch chain one. That was row six. So for row six, you'll have a count of 22 stitches. Now for row seven, we are going to chain one and we are going to single crochet in seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are going to single crochet two together five times. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to single crochet in the last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And join with a slip stitch. That was row seven, and you should have a count of 17 stitches. So for row eight, we are going to single crochet in six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to single crochet two together three times. One, two, and three. And we are going to single crochet in the last seven. One, two, er, no, nope, I messed that up wrong. It's not seven, I believe it is five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna join with a slip stitch. And this is what your little booty's gonna look like so far. And now all we're going to do is we are going to Actually, I'm going to pull that back through. For that last row, you should have 14 stitches. So I'm going to cut off that pink. I'm going to grab the fur yarn. And 
and we're going to do one row of single crochet a fur around and again as you know I do mine from the inside out to get a better look from the fur so it's just 14 stitches that you're going to single crochet around so go ahead do that sew in your ends and I'll meet you back here for the final touches of this project okay so we have the little booty done now you sew it in your ends and everything what we're going to do is we're going to take our three millimeter hook and our pink yarn do a slip stitch and we're going to chain eight three four five six seven eight it's okay mama and we're going to do three single crochets in each stitch so in seven stitches you're just going to put three single crochets in You're okay. What? Stay there. Don't you jump. Come here. Come over here. Come here, baby. I'm almost done. She must play hide and seek. So, we're going to leave a little tail. And I'm going to sew that end in. And we are going to attach that little curl to the front of the boot. So we're just going to go right in here and just kind of grab it. Just need a couple little tacks in there just to make sure that it's in there secure. There we go. And there's our little booties. You don't have to put the curls in the front. That's completely up to you. I'm going to bring this up a bit. So now we can look at our whole outfit. There's a little diaper cover, our little hat, and our booties. I mean, this is a perfect little baby shower gift. It's so cute. And again, you can make this in the, you can make it in a newborn size, a three month size. Either way, I mean, it's cute. Super, super cute. Uh, I would ask if you could give this video a like, please, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'll be doing videos far more often now, and I'm hoping to start looking into doing some giveaways, possibly yarn, but definitely for patterns and stuff like that, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I do appreciate you joining in, taking the time to watch my video, and you have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.